everyone and welcome back to my channel. My family left me alone again and I decided to redo another room in the house. So this time I'm doing an extreme makeover of my daughter's room. She's finally getting her own room and it's gonna be a whole entire mood. So stay tuned while I transform it to the boho chic girls room that she wanted. We're painting, building, refurbishing, cleaning, and organizing and the finished project is so amazing and satisfying. So let's get started. So to start out this makeover, I had to paint the walls, okay? This room is one of the only ones that hasn't been painted yet in the house because I hate painting and it's still this like weird orange beige color that the previous owners painted it. The walls are gonna be agreeable gray, of course, because I'm a millennial mom who loves gray stuff. And then we're doing an accent wall in the color Clary Sage. Honestly, I just Googled the most popular sage color and that's what came up. So I was like, sure, why not? Let's do it. It made such a difference after painting everything. Even though I hate painting walls, it's true that a fresh coat of paint can really make a room change. A few of my favorite painting items will be linked in the description below. I absolutely love the edger that I use and it's under five bucks from Lowe's. It's life changing if you hate taping things as much as I do. If you're new here, my name is Keely. I am almost 30. My middle name is really rainbow. I love eating frosting straight out of the container, watching too much TikTok, and trying to be a cool mom. I've got two kids. Sometimes I drink wine at 5 p.m. and I hate talking on the phone. I make YouTube videos about motherhood, DIYs, home decor, and what it's like to be me, a full-time working mom of two with a husband who is hardly ever here. I have two daughters who are four and nine, my husband who works in the oil field, and a full-time job as a restaurant manager for a corporate restaurant chain, at least for a few more weeks anyway. I'll be done at that job soon. I work a lot, I am busy all the time, and I'm basically the hot mess mom next door. So if you've not subscribed, hopefully you will. You can find me on TikTok and Instagram for more DIYs, travel, and day in the life videos. Anyway, let's get to know each other. First question, Starbucks or Dunkin'? So I've been having to do most of the painting for the room at night because that's just the way my schedule's set up right now because I've been so busy. And it's much easier to paint when the children are sleeping. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just hauled a bunch of stuff up the stairs. I need to work out, but that's a whole nother video. Anyway, the painting for the gray is done. So this is the agreeable gray color. It's on all the walls now. Um, and then I'm about to paint this wall, like an accent wall color of green. And we're gonna open it up here in a second. I'm getting it done, y'all. I'm getting it done. I don't have that long to do it because it's a surprise and I'm doing it myself, so. I'm getting it done. Let's open up the paint though. This is the Valspar Express Coat interior paint. And let's open up the paint pillar. Okay, so we have a problem. <laughs> we have a problem. Ordered this for pickup, like curbside pickup, and I ordered the color, but they just gave me like the white, not colored thing, because it's supposed to be like a green sage color. So now I guess I have to go to Lowe's and get them to color it, but like, why would they do that? I mean, the girl at Lowe's when I got this was like really stressed, so maybe she just forgot, but anyway, I guess I'll be taking it back to Lowe's and now I can't paint tonight and that's gonna set me back a whole nother day. <sighs> so I got the paint situation fixed. Now I'm going to start painting this wall, finally. Um, we took it back to Lowe's and they colored it for us, no problem. So shout out to Lowe's for fixing it. Anyway, that's pink. As you guys might remember, up until recently, my kids, Callie and Cadence, were sharing this room. They actually picked a share room when we first moved in and it went well for a while. Cadence is nine now though and I think she was really feeling like it was time for her to have her own space. I always told her that whenever she wanted to do that, she could. So earlier this summer, we moved Callie downstairs and gave her a new room, which you can find that video on my channel a few videos back. I had all summer to redo Cadence's room because she has to go to her dad's every summer. So I was excited to give her the space she wanted and I made sure to have her send me some pictures to get some insight about what she was wanting. I also made sure it was okay that I go through all of her stuff and organize it and move things around, of course. I know she's only nine, but I think it's important for kids to feel like they have their own stuff and space from an early age. I'm happy she was fine with me to do this makeover for her and I really can't wait to share it with her. I had so much fun doing it and I think she's really excited to see it.
the end of today's video, I'm gonna be sharing Cadence's reaction with you guys. She's been at her dad's for about eight weeks and she knew I was doing this project, so I waited to share it with you guys until I could also share it with her. So make sure you stay tuned to see what she thinks and see her surprise. I couldn't resist sharing her surprise face. I was so excited and so proud of how it turned out. I just feel like a lot of love went into this project, you know? I'm repurposing some things because you know your girl is balling on a budget. I got this chair for $25 from an antique store. I took off some of the parts that were like broken and then I spray painted it the color Outdoor Cafe by Bear. The Bear spray paint is actually really nice and I've never used it before but I do like it a lot. So I also decided to build a little bench. So I got a two by eight by eight from Lowe's and cut it in half to make the seat. Then I used some scrap two by fours that we had in the garage to secure them together on the bottom. I used long screws and screwed it in from the bottom so you wouldn't see the holes on top. But honestly, I think that it would look fine if you did it that way too. You could fill it in with some wood filler if you went that route. I ordered the legs that you see off of Amazon for 20 bucks and screwed those on. These are my favorite little legs. I use them in my porch makeover. And then I made sure to sand it really well so no one would get any splinters. I even rounded the edges a little bit with the sander. This inexpensive sander from Walmart is amazing by the way and it's worth every bit of the 20 bucks I spent on it like five years ago. After sanding, I stained it in the color Special Walnut by Minwax. It cost $30 to make this whole bench which is a lot better than most of the benches I have found when I was looking.
I got this old dresser off of Facebook Marketplace and decided that I could redo it too. It's solid wood, which is really great, and it was in pretty good shape. I think it cost like $50. I just really didn't like the reddish tint to the stain or the color of the fronts of the drawers, so I got to work stripping it. I don't have a lot of experience stripping, either furniture or the other kind of stripping. So this is my first time using Citrus Strip. It's a stripping gel from Lowe's that I found out about on TikTok, of course. You apply it, wait for a while, and then it should, in theory, take all the paint or varnish off of the wood. It sounded really great. Turns out the best thing to do is to cover it with saran wrap and let it sit overnight. Unfortunately, I didn't find out about that until after I scraped it off. So just a heads up, I think it probably works really great if you do it right, but I didn't do it right. At least not right for this particular project. I did take the top layer off and help some, but I ended up having to sand it anyway, which was honestly fine. I really don't mind. use the bare spray paint to paint the front of the drawers and once that dried I stained it with the same Minwax stain I used on the bench. I felt like doing that would give everything a real nice cohesive vibe. I love how it turned out. It was simple to repurpose and I gave it a new life. I also put some gold drawer pulls from Hobby Lobby on it. I don't know if you guys know this, but Hobby Lobby has the best drawer pulls if you're looking for something fun and like everything else in that dang store, it goes on sale like once a month. always I'm gonna try to link everything for y'all that I can down below obviously some of this comes from like thrift stores and antique shops and I some of it I already had so I can't link it all but I like to share where I got the things and the materials that I use because if I can do a makeover like this then y'all can too so all of the materials will be listed down below everything that I can think of to put down there so if you have any questions check there I'm always down to try to make it easier or help people out. I love talking to y'all. I love connecting with y'all. And I feel like we're all friends at this point. Things went pretty fast after I got all the furniture done. That took the most amount of time. Cadence got some new sheets from Target and I picked up some baskets from TJ Maxx and Marshall to put all of her toys in. I really wanted a room to have more of like a grown up vibe so that she could grow with it and change it without having to like completely redo it. So I figured all the baskets were a good place to put any stuff that she was gonna have. She also got a new comforter and some really cute plants. As always, it means the world to me if you guys share this video or any of my content with anybody that you think would like it. And if you snap a picture while you're watching and share it with me, I would love to say hello. I love to hear what you guys think, so make sure to comment. Um, it just It's just really helpful. It's a great way to support any of your creator friends or anybody that you know that creates. Uh, you could just share and like and comment and that helps out a ton. So I love to see that you guys are watching and what you think.
here in Cadence's room, still working on it. I have two days before she gets back and I have to work tonight and tomorrow and then I go get her. So I have to finish everything today <laughs> or tomorrow. Um, so we got all the furniture in here, which is great. I made the bed. Um, I just have like one more pillow to add to the bed, but right now I'm gonna hang some of the pictures. Um, so a quick little hack to hang pictures I'm gonna show you guys is you need some painter's tape and then you get a piece long enough for the picture. So then you turn it around and put it where the hangers are. So right here to here. Okay. Then you make a little dot where the nail is gonna go. So made my little dots. You take the tape. Then you put it on the wall. Then you put your nails where you made the dots. Then you can take off the tape. And then the nails will be in the right place. So when you hang it up, you don't have to worry about it. So there we go. It's hung up and it's straight. One down, a couple more to go. So, in other news, if you haven't heard, I have only a few weeks left at my outside of the house job. I'm a restaurant manager for a corporate restaurant chain and my last day is gonna be August 31st. I'm feeling such a mix of emotions about it, y'all. It's a hard job, it's a lot of hours, and it's late nights, so I feel like it's a necessary step, but I'm excited, nervous, and anxious to name a few of my emotions, but I really think it's time. Everyone keeps asking me like what I'm gonna do, and y'all, I don't know. Okay, it's crazy to be 30 and feel like I'm trying to figure out what to do with my life, but here we are. What I do know is that for the rest of 2021, I'm going to try super hard to create as much success as I can from my social media. I've been making YouTube videos for over 10 years, and I love this community that I've created. I love sharing our life. I love creating, and it's honestly just a bonus that it makes me money at this point, so I'm going to really try hard to keep that going. It's never really been a steady income and some months I barely make anything, but I'm gonna manifest good things because I would love for this to be what I do. I'm so thankful for any little bit I get from YouTube, of course, but it's really hard to work outside the house full time and then also work YouTube like a job. It's been years of trying to do this and work and mom and be a long distance wife and it's gotten to the point where I just cannot do it all and I know that I can't stay working at the job I'm at right now. So I'm sort of at like a crossroads, I guess, and I'm hoping that the next 30 years of my life will be full of things I love doing, you know? Anyway, that's the update, so that's where I'm at. <laughs> I look forward to doing a lot more videos here in the near future, y'all, and I thank you all so much for your support, and that's all I know now. So going through her clothes was the part I was dreading the most. This kid has so many clothes. That is literally all people buy her and she loves clothes, so I get it, but oh my God, y'all, it was a lot. Not to mention she's grown a lot over the summer, so more than like half of her pants weren't even gonna fit her anymore. And it was such a big task to go through them all in her closet. And I ended up getting rid of three bags of stuff.
So I posted this makeover on TikTok and I got a lot of views on it and a ton of comments saying that people would have hated this when they were a kid. So I was curious, would you have hated your parents redoing your room for you? I actually would have loved this and my mom did something like this for me a couple of times and I loved seeing everything all brand new all over again and all organized. So for me, it wouldn't have really bothered me, but I can understand where people are coming from too. However, like with this room, Kaden shared it up to this point. It didn't really have a theme or anything. So it was like a blank slate to work with. So I'm excited that I was able to do it. And Cadence obviously knew and was aware of what was going on and had some say in how it was going to turn out. So I think this is like a little bit different of a situation, but I could definitely see where if you came home and all of a sudden your whole room was changed, that would be kind of shocking. Next up, I vacuumed and cleaned the carpets. I have a love-hate relationship with carpets and vacuums, okay? I have tried so many vacuums and hated all of them. I had that fancy Dyson one that you see everybody on YouTube having, I hated it. I had a Roomba, I hated it. I have this little stick rechargeable vacuum thing from Lowe's, I hate it. So tell me, what vacuum do you have that's great? Because I gotta find a new one. Bonus points if it's affordable because at this point my husband is probably way over me trying to find vacuums and returning them. So I need like a good solid purchase right now. So if you're not subscribed yet, I wanna let you know what you'll be seeing from my channel in the next few months and hopefully you can join the family so you don't miss anything. So after this video, I have a few fun organization videos lined up for y'all. One for like back to school season where we're gonna be organizing the kids stuff and organizing my office. So you're ready for like the new school year and all the life changes that we have going on. After that, there's no holding me back from fall stuff, y'all. I am ready to trade in hot girl summer for cute sweater fall. I'm talking fall decorate with me, fall homemaking, Halloween decor, Halloween outdoor decor, and so much more. Let me know. You ready for summer to be over? Because I am ready.
I'm finally done. I think I'm finally done in this room. And this has been something I've been planning and collecting stuff for all summer. And now it's the end of summer. Uh, August 1st is tomorrow and Cadence comes home tomorrow and her room is finished and it's brand new and she has her very own room and it's super grown up and super perfect for her and I literally cannot wait to show her. So we have about 24 hours until um, she'll come home tomorrow and get to see it. So I'm really excited and I'm gonna get her reaction so you guys can see that. But this has been a long time coming. I know she's so excited to have her own room. It feels like her vibe in here and it feels good and I'm just excited um, to show it to her. I just remember like my mom redoing my room when I was a kid, when I'd be gone to my dad's or something and I just have all these like good memories of it and so I'm really excited to show this to her. Stay tuned because I'm gonna be picking her up tomorrow and showing you guys her reaction, but it's all done. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so relieved too. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, it's so nice in here. Guess what? You look. Where can go them? Yeah. I'm losing it. <laughs> Oh, this place. <laughs> it's beautiful. I like it too. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, 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 I love it, Sophia. Uh, oh, 